What was the best card game you ever saw? In my life? Yeah. And who and who was playing that you can say? Uh, probably at MJ's 40th birthday party in DC. MJ's 40th birthday party. Yeah. So what what was the game? It was just a good game. We were playing Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em. We got snowed in for two days in DC. I had to cook for like 50 people two straight days. And uh, we played cards. You know, Donald Trump was there. Bob Johnson, Jay. Donald Trump. <laughs> I know you're gonna say that. Trump came to the party. He got. He the only one left. That night, it was about 12 inches of snow. He got out some kind of way. I guess he called Russia, somebody to help him. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Trump was at the party, but he didn't come to the club. Did Trump play cards? No. He was broke then. He didn't have no money. No, he came. Yeah, he did have. <laughs> no, he Oak? He came. Trump owing Oakley money but no, was the greatest moment of all time. <laughs> no, it was a good time. It was like just me, Mike, about Jay-Z was there with a couple of his little guys, Juan. Um, just some everybody. I mean, like. So when so when the high figures start getting thrown around, is it all IOU? No. You got to pay up. You, you have gotta, to have the cash. You got to. I heard that's how Antoine gotta, Walker got, got in trouble. No, he didn't play with us poker. You got to come in with the cash. I mean. You then, have to come in with the cash. Yes. Then you can borrow something after you get broke. What kind of cash are we talking about? Uh, half a million. In a, like in a bag? Like in a like in a, bowling? Like I mean, bowling? No, I mean, you're probably all together, boss. Oh, okay. Out of uh, seven uh, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Out of seven guys. So people, everybody's bringing like 40, 75K yeah, yeah. in cash, in duffel bags. I mean, in duffel bag. I mean, you put in your front pocket, back pocket. How so long I, does that take at the ATM? Because it's yeah, like five No, they at probably time. go to the to the bank and yeah. whatever. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like the first rodeo, but I'm just saying it is it's like the Knicks. Like we used to fly the West Coast, play blackjack. We had some good games too. I mean, it was just like that was that so what you, you did back then. You always had the money on you. How do you play blackjack on a team playing? So somebody's the dealer. Somebody get the dealer. I mean, it's tough. You the dealer? dealer. A couple times. Chris Child was the dealer. Mm. Um. But yeah, some good games. Chris Childs, beloved by the Knicks fans for punching Kobe. Oh, that's great. Who's who's the worst card player you ever saw? Yeah. Uh, that's hard to say because some guys. Because he uh, still wants to play cards with them. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, nobody. Everybody's great. Everybody's great. Yeah. I've enjoyed all my card experiences. Now a lot of guys, you know, you just caught up like on TV when you watch the um, poker. You know, they said, oh, this guy. Either you got to know the card, like. Combinations, yeah. Uh, you, you gotta get the cards. You don't get com good combination no matter who you is. I mean, you got to fold every time. That ain't good. Who who lost the most? Did you ever see that lost? The uh, most? It's, it's different. Yeah, we play with different guys, so it's hard Time to play. Tyrone Hill. Yeah. No, he never played with us. No. He but never. he owed you fifty-four thousand dollars. <laughs> that was another game in Atlanta. Yeah. What game was that? We was we was playing poker, but not. Um, we was shooting dice and playing poker. Or shoot dice. Oh. He got broke. I lent him the money. Ah. Yeah. And then I said, okay, I know season start. You know, he just signed a deal for forty nine million dollars. I said, and he's from uh, Ohio up that way. What are the rules when you lend the money? Is there is there like a is there a vig on it? You put interest on it, or just you pay it back? What? Like if you lend Tyrone Hill fifty two thousand dollars, does he just have to pay you fifty two? No, no. Or do you put if, like if a guy cool with you, you don't charge now. Yeah. When the guy cool now, you just let him go. I mean. Now he goes uh, taking years and years to pay you. It's a difference. So Tyrone Hill owes you fifty-four thousand dollars. Yeah, it wasn't that much, but interest probably took it there. Okay. It, it you was, had points on it. It probably started off at twenty. Yeah, with points. <laughs> so it ended up two to one. And he says, "Thanks for lending me that money. I'll get it to you next week." And then you never hear from him again. Yeah. He started yeah. ducking you. Then the season started. No, yeah. couldn't duck for so long. Yeah. Preseason, I see him in Charlotte. We playing now. We play in Philly in North Carolina. Layup line, I go up to him. Like, you forgot my number? Yeah. You knew he was playing, why didn't you call me? Yeah. And, um. These are the Tyrone Hill lamb chops. <laughs> by Tyrone Hill. Yeah. He said, uh, I'm gonna get it to you. I'm just waiting to my lawyer, you know, my wife is going through it. I said, all right, season started. Mm. Don't do it. So we play in Philly, in Philly. So I go to the game, this and that. Somebody gave me some flowers. You know, fans always send me something to the visit yeah, locker room, yeah. so. I looked at the flowers and I got a piece of paper and I wrote Tyrone Hill name on it. I gave it to the ball board to take it to the locker. <laughs> <from Charles Oakley. laughs> 
<laughs> so he came in, and he seen the flower, and seen my name. They say he went back to his car, went home. <laughs> <laughs> so um, during the, you know the playoffs, so we season on, we play him again. He played sick and coming to uh, New York, so he just kept up during the playoff. So we got to go to Philly, and uh, so this and that happened. Some kind of way, Larry Brown got a, you know what was going on and made him pay me this and that. Then about five summers, about seven summers ago, we playing ball in Atlanta in the gym. You know, me, Jamie Foxx, some other guys there, some of his partners. So we was killing. We had won two games in a row. So this is the third game. We was up like eight to four. He called, he called ball. I said, ball, it might touch you. He called ball. He said, I want the ball. So he came up to me. I said, I'm not giving you the ball. He like, I'm like, really? So I threw the ball. I said, don't, don't come no close. So we get into it. Da, da, da. He run in the back and get the guy who run the gym. Call the police on me. <laughs> police come. So they put a warrant out for my arrest. And they come to the whole, I was at the hotel. And uh, he said, you know, whatever. I knew one of the cops. He said, well, you know, whatever. So he said, um, you know, Tyrone Hill, you know, put a warrant. I said, what? We, we were just playing ball. We got into it. He's like, no. He went down to police this and that. So about two months later, we got to go to court. And he said, he brought his girlfriend. He said, I had my lawyer. He had a lawyer. And he's like, I'm just tired. This man keeps bullying me, this and that. And we got to come up with something out of this. We got to make it right. So, man, I'm just tired. I said, what is he talking about? I don't have a bill of you. I mean, whatever happened, how? I'd be two grown men. You 6'9", I'm 6'9". You owe me money, and now I'm saying I'm bullying you, right? And then the judge came out and said, um, okay, I'm going to put a – you can't go 500 feet of him. A, uh, a restraining order. Restraining order, wow. yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's still on me or not Wow. to this day. So I see him in Let's my. Let's bring him out right now. Tyrone Hill. <laughs> hey! No, he put him in restraining order. Hey. Can you believe that? So that was the second time you'd punched him. Uh, I mean, you did punch him two different times. Well, you know. Because you punched still, him right before a game, right? It was a layup line. The layup line. <laughs> <laughs> before the game. Uh, yeah, I had to go let him know that I meant business. Did you punch him, though? I, I, I you know, I. <laughs> You know, but you're like two, yeah, yeah, yeah. you two-handed him. Yeah, he knew. I went in their layup line. You know how you throw you the ball. In, you went in their layup line. Yeah, I went in their layup line, and rebound the ball, and he was right there. So. The Tyrone Hill lamb chops. Beautiful. <laughs> no, it was. They funny, looked though. delicious. It was funny. And then one time was, we was in Miami going to dinner. MJ, we was in the club together. MJ said, oh, please don't bother him. I said, man, that man got a strain order with me. I ain't going nowhere near him. <laughs> you, you closer to him than me. <laughs> It was just funny, though. How you going to put a strain order on me, man? I'm 40-something years old. Did you ever think about boxing, Hook? Um, I do a little box, but not like... Like something more than I might go to the gym and just hit the bag for like five to seven minutes, just, yeah. you know, in place, uh, just in there. And when you, might... say, when you say hit the bag, was that Tyrone Hill you're talking about? Uh, well, no, you know. I like hitting the bag. <laughs> the bag, see, t hit Tyrone Hill, he going to fall the bag, going to stay there. I want to <laughs> work out, not just get out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but, what was your strategy in fights, in basketball? Keep the hands up. Uh, keep your hand up. Don't let a guy get too close. Keep, you know, make sure you're distant, you know. So, like a boxer, you don't yeah. want a guy to get into you, whatever. But Because um, you never went backwards. A lot of the guys, they big. fight, but they're going backwards. Too you big. would always, like, try to keep your position. I'm saying like a fireman. When you go to a fire, put out the fire. When, guy come, when I go to a guy, I'm trying to put him out. Right. Try to get, so you want to keep like a little Same. bit of distance so you yes, have your reach. You know, always like a reach. Because you know? in hockey, they try to grab the guy with yeah. the left arm and then yeah, do this. Yeah, in hockey, they want to. That's what just, I do. Yeah. <laughs> hockey, because you might, when you keep swinging the hockey, you might slip. So that's why I try to get a hold to you and just, yeah. you know, and just beat you up. Did you ever str ever have a strangle fight? Um, Did you ever like grab somebody by the neck? Mm, I think. Maybe the mere X Men fight we got into. Oh, yeah. It was, you know. That was a good one. That one um, stands. The craziest fight of my all was the older thought. It wasn't really a fight. You know, you go up and t down the court two or three times. You know, in basketball, you'll get hit. He hit yeah. me one time. He hit me the second time, he looked. So I guess he knew the third time. It wasn't no, and when he hit me, he just. He knew you were going the third time. Oh, yeah, I had to. He I was, don't know if there's videotape of that one. I know. I was trying. Someone was trying. I was trying to find that because everybody was. Oh, we still do this with the Plakasi fight. 
the bar Philly with the Rick Mahorn. I mean, my thing, I wasn't trying to fight, but once you get into it, you got to finish. Yeah. So what happened in the Otis Thorpe fight? Because I don't even know. Uh, it was just one little thing. He bowled me in the face twice, and I ain't take it a second time. So you finished it? Uh, well, you know, I hit him with a one, too. <laughs> you two-pieced him? I, I, oh, yes. If you can hit somebody with a quick two, you should be able to make a move. Who's, who's the guy that could actually fight? Uh, oh, yeah. From, you had a couple from your area. Not in my area. They had to go back to Morris Lucas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lonnie Shelton. I mean. Lonnie Shelton had a lot of fights. Probably more Lonnie Shelton. Yeah. Because they said he was, you know. Well, Lucas knocked, he knocked out uh, Artis Gilmore, who was like 7'3". That was Ooh. like the Artis famous was, Morris, was the Morris Lucas guy. fight. And yeah. then he uh, he fought Daryl Dawkins in the finals. That was oh, good. Yeah. That's yeah. good YouTube yeah. one. Daryl Dawkins did a lot of running. You can't run. <laughs> Lucas, had, Lucas had guys backing up. That was the first time I ever seen a guy. He, he wasn't really tall, but he was like 6'7", 250, 260, yeah. you know. I worked with Doug Collins one year for TV, and he was we talked about that fight, and he was the only one who got hurt in the fight. Yeah, Doug Collins. That was, he's <laughs> Dawkins a missed Lucas and hit Collins and, like, cut his eye. Yeah, he's a character. He, uh, Back with Chicago. I know. In front office. He oh, coached man. you, right? Yeah, he coached me. We cried more than coach. <laughs> <laughs> that man love to cry. Did he cry after wins and losses or oh, just yeah, losses? He was consistent. He cried all the time. Then Michael got him to coach in Charlotte. He came down there. Cried? Oh, yeah. In an emotional guy. Yeah. In Washington. I liked him. He's very intense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, I liked he, working with him. See, I think one time, him, Michael, <laughs> I think I, Michael really took a liking to him because one thing, I, I think in Chicago, I was my rookie, it was my second year. Michael, we were just in practice. I think Doug was saying something. I don't know, it was something Michael broke to play or something. And, you know, Mike said something like that, but it didn't get out of hand. But I think Doug said, I wish I was still playing. And Michael would be like, what? <laughs> I said, huh? I think, I think he said, you want my shoes because I got another pair. <laughs> <laughs> it was just fun. I'm really impressed by the group.